everybody and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about well, that's not very fun to look at hang on hang on hang on where we're going to be talking about flux and reflux by douglas blazik now if you recall i said i don't know if i didn't like this book the first time i read it because skull juices was so good and this wasn't skull juices or if i really just didn't like the poems that were in here so I went through and I um, found some stuff that I liked that I thought I would share. So um, this poem is called The Vicious Robbery. I was with James walking down Evergreen just off Wells, coming home through a pre-sun mist. When this juiced old man leans into us, waving a knife that looked duller than a liver sausage. He wanted our money and our lives, and we had little of either, either, but obviously more than he. His eyes were slipping, and his knife kept drooping like a hard-on he didn't want. Between us, we gathered $2.63 and wondered how long that would sustain him. The sadness of defeat without a battle, the loss of every dream, and finally the ability to dream. He stumbled away, bruising the fog, looking for the end of the street, and someone who won't knock him senseless when he repeats the night over. I absolutely love that poem. And I fucking love the part, he wanted our money or our lives, and we had little of either, but obviously more than he. Wonderful. I love it. Oh, what else do we got here? Um, functioning's pretty good. Technology's pretty good. It's so funny. When you hit a poem that is so fucking good, that it looks like when you look at all the other poems that you kind of dug to, you're like, oh man, these aren't as good as that one. So there's another one in here called Unclogged Dilemma, which screams skull juices to me, okay? Um, leaving for work this morning, I heard a crow. The matches which I lit my cigarette with said, don't stay deaf. I listened again for the crow, but heard nothing. At work, they have signs telling us to T-H-I-N-K, which is think. After pouring my hemoglobin into the machine, I left for home where my wife told me, Cheer up, now you're free to be yourself again. The crows were still outside, the match is still in my pocket. My back told me I wanted it to sleep, but I, all I could think about was how to get my blood back. Now I know why they have those signs at work. So that's a great fucking, like... I hate my job poem kind of thing. And that's definitely a lot of what Skull Juices is. So, like, that poem in here was cool. So those two poems make this book worth having. Um, but, like, a lot of the poems in here I just I don't connect with. Like, they're, they're a little too metaphor-heavy for no apparent reason. And... A lot of you were like, well, that's that's poetry. That's beautiful. Where you have to, you know, where you don't know anything and you're like constantly thinking about what the meanings of things are. That's true. To an extent. But if you like have no fucking concept to what somebody's talking about and it turns out to be something where you can sit around with a bunch of people and go, what do you think this means? And they go, I think it means... Um, dairy products are bad. And they're like, oh, really? I thought it meant like roller derby should come back. When you have people that far off, you obviously fucked up. Like, that poem is obviously so fucking obscure that anyone could pull anything out of it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, there are some people who love that shit and to each their own. I'm not one of those fucking people. So, if you like that kind of shit, there is some stuff in this book for you as well. So there you go. But 
the poems in there that I like, I like enough to think that that is a good book now. So, um, yeah, flux and reflux. I dig it. And that is, um, 1970 from Cranium Press, a thousand copies made. All right. So, um, let me know what you think down below. Oh, let me show you this. So, um, the postcard for, um, my Patreon members and the postcard plus tier has, um, this weird self portrait of me and then, um, a poem on the back about, um, society and lessons learned from society. So that's that. Keep buying my books, type hard everybody, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.